Hello everyone, welcome back. We are uh, getting ready to get to the field with the plow, so what we're doing right now is changing some of the wearable parts. Uh, what I've done is uh, I'm going to show you the difference here. And uh, bear with me, it's probably going to be a little shaky, but I'm laying down in the yard. Alright. So this this right here is our landslide, our landslide, and you can see it's wore pretty good on this back one. That's the long one, and you can see our point right here is the end of the frog, and you can see how much point is left on it. Uh, some and might have been able to get by with it this year, but there's the new one. See how much more meat's on the bottom of this plow share or plow point. And how much farther out now I'm not changing the shins because they're still they're still pretty good and this landslide here is still you can see the thickness there still pretty good that one is worn out you can see how it's tapered real bad uh, this one's getting some wear on it but uh, they didn't have one of the short ones this one so I got points for all three bottoms landslide for that foot and the this long landslide back here so uh, let's see if we can get these on there and uh, get them in the field later today okay we're making some headway you can see right here is my landslide and it's not worn completely out but you can see the difference in them. What happens is, when that slide gets wore down, you start wearing the bottom of your frog here. And this one up here is worn a little bit more than the rest of them. But, uh, you see how much thicker that is. So, uh, we've got one more point, the long landslide back here, and, uh, I may go to a different store out the road and see if they got another one of them landslides. Go ahead and change it today and have them ready to go. So uh, let's see if we can get them done. Hang on. Hey, the Ford 101 plows are ready for the field. I replaced, I did find another landslide at a local farm supply place. So I uh, was able to get hit and uh, put hit on. Uh, so we're good to go there. A, uh, a hint or a suggestion if you're doing this, these bolts, they're a little long. If you'll cut them off flush with the nuts, uh, next time you go change them, you can take an impact gun to pull them off. Problem is these threads get buggered up, messed up, and when you try to back it off, that plow head just turns in the point, in the hole. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, well, we got new landslides, new plow shares. The, uh, like I said, the shins didn't need replacing at this point. Uh, so the only other wearable parts left on them are the shins and the more boards. Eventually, they're going to need a set of more boards on them. Uh, but right now we'll be fine without them. Uh, these are 16 inch points. It's very, very hard to find 14 inch points. You can see they stick past 14 inch with the end right here. But since that's already cut, it don't really matter. Uh, they'll work just fine. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at on that. It's, they're ready. Uh. Cost-wise, the three points, three landslides, three plowshares, three landslides, and the bolts and nuts for them was $180. So, uh, give you an idea of what, they, what it runs. So, uh, anyhow, we're going to finish up here, pick our tools up, uh, and go and start getting ready to put these things in the field today and tomorrow, hopefully. So, uh, 
we can start getting some of this more board plowing done. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you'll know when we put up a video. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. See a video you like, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, please do so. Till next time, take care of yourself. Bye.